match review of Wrexham FC 4, Woking nil. Last week we hit 4 against Halifax. Thought of may maybe have been a blip, but this week we've only gone and done it again away at Woking. What a performance that was. Just going to let you start off. Have, what were your thoughts on the game? Wow. Um, yeah, it's a 100 mile an hour start. Yeah, um, very quick start. We got the penalty which we deserve. We should have mm. had two or three maybe before that. Yeah. Uh, 2 0 into the 90th minute, and then yeah. two goals in I come upstairs six set, minutes of then, uh, injury time. And then there were six minutes added on. Teo scored, and um, Jordan Davis scored. Good to see Davis back on the oh, score sheet. Oh, lovely shot. Lovely wasn't it? goal into the bottom corner. Sang could have scored. S yeah. Rounded the keeper, Good to see got tackled. Rutherford starting again. Yeah. Um, he started to mix the team up a bit as well, which I'm glad he's done. But another 4 0 win. Yeah. What's going on at the minute? I know Woking didn't. They didn't look that good yeah. up front, but the back back three for Wrexham looked You could say really Woking solid. as well were like, they, they came into it 19th. 4-0 yeah. against any team in this league. I yeah. believe as well, Hartlepool have just beaten Wellstone 7-0. <laughs> but um, just what performance that was from Wrexham once again. Luke Young emphatically put the penalty into the bottom yeah. right-hand corner. It was 1-0 at half-time, wasn't it? Yeah, I think um, having that experienced back three, Carrington, Pearson and Kelleher, yeah. Um, made a massive difference, yeah. didn't it? They, they looked absolutely rock solid. I'm sorry, but Woking strikers didn't, <clears throat> no, they're, didn't they're pose poor. any threat to us at all. We were just calm at the back. And like you said, it's the experience of those three that I think is going to guide us to playoffs. Whether we'll go up or not, I'm not sure. But those three at the back is a massive boost of confidence. Mm. We've got a great midfield three in Davis. Um, young and now Rutherford. Davis is really, uh, yeah, really in form yeah. now, isn't he? Front two, is that our weakness on the pitch? Maybe. Um, like we said, good to see Omateo on the score sheet for the first time in a Wrexham yeah. shirt. Took it well. Took, took it very well, yeah. <clears throat> um, right, so yeah. Um, and then Davis scored in the 96th minute, drilled it into the bottom left corner. Yeah. Routine victory for Wrexham. I'd have probably given my man of the match I'm just going to, ask you that. to... Oh, I'd oh, have probably given oh. it to Davis. Not just because he scored, obviously, but I thought Davis had a good game in, in midfield. Paul Johnson, in Paul Johnson, yeah. Um, Easily the best right back any in, of the, in the league, isn't he? I think 100%. Back three. Um, Young was... Mm. They all had very good games. Yeah. Angus, yeah. quiet... Unfortunately, record as well. Record had one I of his best. I thought record was yeah. very good. Dibble had a dodgy moment in the first oh, half geez. when uh, mm, one of their rare shots he spilled the shot. Oh, Luckily, like, there was a Wrexham player. Uh, but apart from through. that, his handling was was, was spot yeah. on. Kicking sometimes is a bit. Yeah. Iffy. When Lane's will come back, we don't know. Um, it'd be good to have him back because I think when we have him back, it'll be our strongest team. Yeah. We'll have a really strong end to this season. Hopefully, going into the playoffs. Um, Again, who we've got Chesterfield next Saturday, which is a massive, massive crunch yeah. match. I think, I think they drew today. Um, it's just it's a huge game. One at the start of the season we knew it was going to be massive, and now looking where the teams are in the table, I think we've gone up to sixth now. Mm. They've dropped down a couple of places, but once again, if we can get three points there, I think that's us secured playoffs for the yeah. season. We had those three defeats, didn't we? Yeah. And now we've gone on to two, mm. yeah. two four nil wins. We're right yeah. back up there. I thought as well today what I liked about it. Good to see Omateo is filling Kwame's boots really well uh, in terms yeah. of area wise. He looks he's like the exact same player as Kwame Thomas winning the headers. Unfortunately, Angus. <sighs> It's, it's harsh because some games he has really good games where he can just he's unstoppable but the next he just has quiet games and it's yeah. not worrying but you'd think I wonder if Keats will because he signed on a two year contract whether Keats will keep him on again next season um, or can we just go and get someone a lot bigger and a lot better mm -hmm. but good player nonetheless and I think four goals totally just yeah. and the goal will have done the world a good to um uh, name, that? Amateo. Amateo. Yeah. I keep forgetting yeah. his name. Uh, he took it really well. Three on goal, wasn't I it? I missed it as well. Uh, one on one, and then mm. pff, put it in the far corner. Another two good goals goal. as well at the end. I think they were good because it'll boost our goal difference as well. Um, 
yeah, just overall a very good performance. Match rating for me, I'd have probably given it a four and a half out of five. What would you have given it? Uh, five? I'll give it. I'll give it a. I'll give it a four and a half out of five. Four and a half well. out of five. So we've job. One, um, another big three points from Rexon. It was comfortable at two 0 wasn't it? Mm, but to get those two goals at the end was massive. Good to see on the yeah. score sheets. Um, so yeah, I think that's us moved up to six. If you did enjoy, make sure to drop a like. And yeah, Wrexham 4, well no, Woking nil, Wrexham 4, our match review. And we'll probably see you maybe in midweek for another video or on Saturday for the Chesterfield game.